Thanks very much for watching. It's uh, been a pleasure. Uh, the two lads are very, very nice guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed some of the stories. Thank you. There they are, the champions of England. And one day for the replica of the championship cup. We're here with an absolute legend. If ever leg a word legend is overused for the, the gentleman who's sitting with the Asian cop here today, um, it's, it's befitting. It's an absolute pleasure and honour to welcome Ron Yeats. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, Ron, um, the, the story I want to kick off with is uh, a friend of mine uh, was watching Leighton Orient play Liverpool in the second division. And uh, yourself and Ian St John uh, had just signed, actually. Um, he said to me, God, that centre-half's a son player. Um, and that was obviously echoed by Bill Shankly in, in signing you. I mean, what did it mean to have a, a person like Bill to, go, to, to build the team around um, to bring Liverpool up from the second division to the first division? Well, I've, all, I've always said, you know, without Bill Shankly coming to Liverpool, you wouldn't have seen Liverpool as you see it today, the amount of stuff that we've won. Uh, uh, he was a tremendous man, really great man. You know, and I... Uh, he took to me right away, you know. Uh, it's funny, I was in the army at the time, the British Army. I was doing two years of the British Army uh, thing, you know, and I thought, I can't believe this, you know. I, I'm playing for Dundee United and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the army now, you know. I'll never get any further than this. But it was the best thing that happened to me, you know. I, I, I got into the army team, which was full of internationals, you know, Welsh. Scottish, English, you know, so, you know, uh, my game become, you know, I, I improved and improved and improved and, and I don't know why, but in most teams I was played for, I was captain of the side, maybe because it was my height, uh, I don't know, but uh, I enjoyed being captain of the side, I wasn't a bully, uh, I would never sort of tell anybody off, you know, I'd encourage them, you know, more than anything. So, uh, I've had a great career, I must admit. The breaking forward, covered by Anich Yates. When did you first hear about um, Bill's interest in you? Uh, well, I, I, was, I was playing, we played, uh, we played, you know, we were such a good team, you know, international team in the army uh, at that time. And, you know, we played Tottenham, we played Arsenal, and we played Liverpool here and we beat them 2-0 and uh, I always remember playing against Roger Hunt, you know, very, very good player, you know, uh, unfortunately for Roger, I never gave him a kick that day, you know, so of course, you know, Bill Shankly was watching the game and I think uh, from then on, you know, he pursued, tried to, he made a couple of bids to Dundee United, I didn't know, you know, but uh, so I was told, you know, and uh, I think his third bid, you know, uh, they said yes, you know, and I uh, had to meet him, I was stationed in Aldershot and I uh, had to meet him in uh, Edinburgh. So, you know, I, you didn't get out of the, you didn't get out of the, uh, the, the company without putting, you know, your, your uh, army uniform on. So I had to get to Edinburgh and unfortunately for me, you know, I was so big and broad, they couldn't get a, a uniform to fit me. So what I had on was a World War One uniform. I couldn't believe it, you know, with the buttons all showing and that, you know, and I thought, what am I doing here? And and the big boots, you know, I must have you know, I must have gone to about six foot five, six foot six with like these boots on. So I get up to Edinburgh and I'm, and I'm I'm at the station and I'm walking out of the station and, and this guy is walk I've ne never met Bill Shankly before. And he's walking towards me, you know, and, and I nearly walked past him and he went, Ron Yeats. And I'm like, yeah. He said, Bill Shankly, manager of Liverpool Football Club. He said, Jesus Christ, you're some size, son. You know, he said, uh, let me walk around you. You know, and he started to walk around me and I thought, oh, fuck it now. <laughs> Everybody in the streets going, what's happening here? So he went, oh, he said, um, you know, we're looking for a centre half. He said, and uh, I've been a couple of bits, I said, well, I never knew. Dundee Knight didn't tell me, you know, and uh, he said the third one, he said, that, you know, I could talk to you, you know. And he was a lovely talker, Bill, you know, 
and uh, of course he was all for his players and all for his team, you know. And and he was talking about ah, he says we're going to do well if we sign you. He's, he says uh, we're in the first division at the moment. Now I had been reading the paper that morning, and and I and I, and I knew Liverpool were in the second division, and I said to him, I said, I thought you were in the second division. He says we are at the moment. He says, but when we sign you, he says, we'll be in the first division next year. <laughs> you know, and I thought, what the hell is it? And we were, you know, we, we got promotion the first year I was at Liverpool. So, you know, a, a tremendous man. And of course, it wasn't the only time where he got, not only himself to walk around, he got the press to oh, walk yeah. around at the, it's in the centre circle That's of the right, yeah. Anfield. Yeah, that was the first time he had, uh, he, he, it was when we first played in all red, you know, uh, and, uh, he got me, he said, Ron, he says, this will fit me, he said, go out there, go to the centre circle, he says, and uh, just stay there. You know, I thought, I, I didn't know what it was all about, you know, so I, I walked over, you know, and he went, Jesus Christ, he says, there's some size in that red kit, you know, and uh, and then he took a press round, he says, I said, just go right round him, you know, he said, that's our centre half now. Yeah, I'm captain of the side, you know, so, you know. And how were you feeling when this was happening? Well, I, I, a little bit embarrassed, <laughs> you know, you can imagine, you know, they're all walking around going, Jesus Christ, he's some size, this fella. And, because uh, I, I was a slaughterman at the time, you know, uh, I, you know, before I went into the army, you know, so, you know, it, uh, I wasn't only big, I was, you know, strong, you know, uh, because of the slaughterhouse side of it, you know, and, uh, I just thought, well, you know, if this is what he wants to do, yeah, great. You know? And uh, it, it, it really was something else, you know. And of course, you know, he started to build a team then. You know, uh, I think Ian St. John, Ian St. John, uh, either he came a week before me or a week after me, one of the two. So the two of us, uh, and I had played against Ian uh, well, you know, when I was playing for Dundee United, you know, so I, I knew him not very well. I knew him, you know, and uh, it was nice to, you know, come to a club where you knew somebody you talked to, you know, because I'm an Aberdonian, and have you have you ever heard Aberdonians talk? You'd think they were from, you know, Europe, you know, honestly, you know, just and and I I, I was the same. Nobody knew what I was singing, you know. They've got words for everything you know, in Aberdeen. Uh, but it, it, I soon got this, this guy's language to a fine art, you know, with the lads that I played with, you know. But, uh, you know, it was, it was the best days of my life. You've, you've given such great service to the club, not only as a player, but also as, as chief scout. Yeah, I was chief well. scout for 20 odd years. Yeah. You know, um, I really enjoyed every minute of it. And, and, f and f for my generation of fans, there's, there's one player who, who, who came through from the Dutch League in Sammy Herpia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 when I went to, I went to see a game. Somebody had phoned me at a club, you know, when I was chief scout. You know, he said, "Have you seen this centre half? At, you know, plays for Dutch team." You know, and I went, "No, I haven't." And uh, he says, "You want to go and see him?" You know, and I thought, "Yeah." And I said to the boss, "I said, look, you know, I just had a phone call. This guy is a good player." You know, he said, well, "Go and watch him." So I went to watch him the first time and, and he played very well. And uh, he reminded me of myself a little bit, you know, but I'll tell you what, he was a better passer of the ball than I would <laughs> ever be. Uh, and I thought, I'm going to go back and watch this man again, you know, and I'll really put a, a good... So I went again, uh, I think about the week uh, after, it was away from home this time, and he played excellent again. And uh, I came back and said, look, you know, I said, if we don't sign this fella, I said, you won't get a better centre half than this guy. And uh, I think a week after, we, we signed him. And uh, it was one of the best signings I, I think Liverpool will ever make. So I, I've got a question for you in terms of the current team. Yeah. Um, how would you deal with Luis Suarez? Uh, oh, I'd, I'd have to strangle him in the first <laughs> two minutes. You know, a, a tremendous player. You know, you don't know what he's going to do with it. Tremendous feet. Uh, he's, what, he's, he's a, a centre-half's nightmare. He would be my nightmare, I'll tell you. You know, uh, unless you, you know, you've got a, a really fierce tackle on him in the first ten minutes, you know, and he'd, uh, he'd go, I'm not getting near that 
guy again, you know. But that, yeah, I would, I would have hated to play against, you know, as far as I think he's a super player for us.